In this video, I want to show you how to schedule a Teams meeting that you can use with your students. Now there are several ways that you can schedule a Teams meeting. I'm going to go through Outlook to schedule a meeting just because this is something you're familiar with. So hopefully you've already installed Teams on the device that you are going to be scheduling the meeting from. If you haven't, refer to the directions on how to do that. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, contact your ITS. Then open Outlook. And if Teams has been installed, when you go to your calendar in Outlook, so click the little calendar icon down here in the lower left corner, on the ribbon at the top, you should see an option of new Teams meeting. If you do not see that option, try restarting your computer. If that's still not there, speak to your ITS about how to manually add that icon to your ribbon. But let's say and hope that it is there. When you're ready to schedule your meeting, you'll click on the new Teams meeting icon. That is going to open an appointment that you're used to seeing for an Outlook calendar. It's going to ask you for a title, so simply add the title of what your meeting is. I'm going to recommend putting your name and then whatever you want to call your meeting. I'm going to just call it my help sessions. You may say class for whatever date and time, whatever you want it to be. It is required that you add at least one person to this meeting. Um, you're going to share this link with your students through its learning, but since it requires you to put someone there, you can just add your own personal email address or somebody that um, doesn't mind being invited to your meeting and having it on their calendar and they're just going to ignore it. We're going to do this with Jason. And then choose what's the date, what's the time of your meeting. So I'm going to say that this meeting is later today at 2, and you can type in this box, so I'm going to say 2.20 p.m. And it's going to end, it's only going to be a 30 minute meeting. Notice you do have the option there if you want this to be a recurring meeting, um, you can go through and make those choices as well. If you have help sessions every Tuesday, right after school um, or in the morning before school, whatever. So make your choices here that you need. And then after you've actually scheduled everything, you need to go down here to the body of the appointment. And I want you to click on the meeting options choice. So I'm going to hit the control key, click that option for meeting options. That is going to open a new browser tab for you with the team meeting options. So notice there are two choices here for meeting options. Who can bypass the lobby? Leave that on everyone. That just means that as students or participants come into your meeting, you do not have to manually accept them. If for some reason you do want to accept them, notice there is a choice that um, you can change it to down here in the drop down. The important one though is who can present. So I do highly recommend that you change that to only me and then that way people cannot take control of your meeting and then click save on that choice. When you get the done message you can go ahead and close that browser. Now the next thing you need is the link to the meeting. So notice that join Microsoft Teams meeting that's a hyperlink so I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to right click and copy or I can just do control C on my keyboard. Now once I have all of that set up, click send. Notice that appointment is now on my Outlook calendar. Now here's the next step. I've scheduled the meeting but to get students to it, I need to post that link for that meeting somewhere. So that's why you just copied that join meeting link. So at this point, you're going to go to your It's Learning course, and you can post it wherever you want to. Um, there's a couple options that I would recommend. Um, on your overview page where you have your sticky note, yours probably has your name and contact information, you can click on the pencil, and you could actually paste in the link for your meeting here. My recommendation 
is that you actually change the wording here so the kids know exactly what this is. So I'm going to notice I'm going to keep the the meeting the word meeting so that the hyperlink stays there. I'm just going to highlight the join Microsoft Teams part and I'm just going to change this to join I can type join help session meeting and then give it a title up here at the top when you click save that's going to be here on your overview page for your students and when they come in they can just click it and it's going to take them to your team's meeting I'll have another video walking the students through how to join this meeting now let's go back the other option within your its learning course is you might just want to add this as a note under resources so I'm going to go to my resources tab and I'm just going to click add in the tree I'm going to add a note and I'm just going to say link to online help sessions in the body of the text I'm going to paste that link from my um, Teams meeting once again I'm going to highlight the join Microsoft Teams meeting part and then I'm just going to say join online help sessions meeting and click save so now when the students click on that link this is what it's going to look like once again if they click on it it's going to take them to that same screen that we, I showed you on the um, main page Hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to get, get a hold of me or your ITS.